Okay, hello everybody. Are you all ready for the next session? Yes. Are you all sleepy? Still sleepy or what? <laughs> Need more coffee. <laughs> Have you all learned WordPress? How to install WordPress? How to install the theme? How to install plugins? Are you all experts now? <laughs> okay, you still have time to learn. <laughs> yeah, it will take time. Yeah, you'll get used to it. So now, uh, this is the second part, WooCommerce. Uh, WooCommerce uh, is a WordPress plugin to develop your e-commerce, to set up your e-commerce uh, website using WordPress, okay? So in this session, I don't have nothing much to explain. You're going to play around with the WooCommerce plugin. Okay, so you're going, you're going to tell me how we are going to install the plugin and how we are going to set up it, okay? Are you all ready? Okay. So as I said, WooCommerce is a WordPress uh, plugin. Uh, almost 37% of the uh, online shopping carts are powered by WooCommerce. Uh, the, uh, it is very flexible uh, plugin to use. Uh, the uh, flexibility is that the content can be owned by the store, uh, store owner as well as the uh, uh, developers. So it's very, it, it is a very powerful plugin. Uh, it, can, it is extendable also, okay? This is all about WooCommerce. So this is what you're going to achieve today. You're gonna to install the WooCommerce, you're going to add the products, then you're going to observe the WooCommerce settings, uh, mainly the payment gateway and the email. Okay, are you all ready to go? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So I hope you have already set up your WordPress. So uh, please navigate to your WordPress dashboard. So in order to uh, make your, we are going to make this WordPress website to uh, WooCommerce website, okay? So what is the first step that has to be done? Download the plugin, yes. So how do you do that? Which, which menu should you access first? Plugins, okay. <laughs> Navigate to plugins. Okay, have you all got the plugin listed? WooCommerce. So, next, what is the next step? Install. Okay. The password is Vagrant. Are we all on the same page? Click install now. Did you get the plugin listed?
I hope everybody has installed the plugin. Have you all clicked install now? The north front face, then you probably switch yeah. on the back. Uh, it's going to turn around. Hey, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is not very. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know if it's a thing can turn around. Because if you, but if you turn, she can see, you know, and use this screen. I'm not sure whether that makes sense. No, but you can see. Am I? She has to hold the microphone there. Have you all activated your plugins? All good to go? Ready? Ready to go? Okay, then we move to the next step. Okay, so uh, once you have activated the plugin, you should be able to see this. Welcome to the world of WooCommerce. Okay, so now let's click the Let's Go uh, Let's Go button. Ah. So you can see the page setup. So uh, the uh, plugin itself is setting up you, setting up the shop, cart, checkout, my account. All these pages are going to be set up by plugins. Okay, so you don't have to. Uh, go and set up by uh, set up by yourself all this so plugin itself will do it for you so click continue this is the local setup of the store so where is your store based so since we are in Singapore Singapore the currency so let's change it to sing dollars Currency position left. Rest everything you can leave it like that. 
So depending upon your product, you can choose the uh, units, whether it's in kilograms, grams, LBS, or Z. So whichever you, uh, the product dimension also, you can choose whichever. For now, I use as, I set it as, okay? Then click continue. Now is the tax setup. So if you are shipping, uh, for now I will use that. I will use uh, the sale. Will you be using sales tax? Yes, I will be charging sales tax. I will enter the prices. So you can ch uh, choose whether you are going to enter the price exclusive, exclusive of tax or inclusive of tax. So I am going to enter is exclusive of tax. This is depending upon your requirement of the card, okay? Whether you want to ship the product uh, to somewhere or that. Next, click continue. Next is the payment. So since uh, we don't have any payment gateways set up, for today, I'm going to use cash on delivery. Later, I'll be demonstrating how to set up, a, a activate a PayPal plugin, okay? Click continue. Now your store is ready. Okay, so your store is already there. So what do you need inside the store? Products, right? So let's see how we can add the products to the store, okay? You all ready? Yes. Mm. So click on create your first product. You can enter your product name, uh, description, upload your product image, then you can uh, set up your uh, product whether it's a simple product or a variable product or a group product or whatever your product type is, whether it's virtual or downloadable, you can set. Then you can set up the regular price, sale price, whether it's taxable. Then. Also, you can. Group. Yeah, yeah. When you have to sell things in a group. Okay. So I'm not going to going through everything. Uh, later, you can explore yourself, all uh, all the uh, menus. So you'll get familiarized with it. With it. So, okay. So let me add a product now. The product name. I use coffee, coffee Ipsum for generating the content for the product. So I've entered a title, then I've entered a 
text for the description. Then I'm going to set it as a simple product. So the re regular price for this pro uh, product is maybe $5.40. So there's a sale. So maybe 40 And I'm going to set the product image. I choose one from the library, media library. Set product image. <coughs> and I can add the product, short product description. Maybe a smaller description. Publish the product. Are you all here? Okay. Have you all added your first product? Yes. Okay, you can add anything, it's not. And also, I'm going to set up a, uh, set up a product category. Now I'm navigating back to my products and I'm going to assign my product to this particular category, Bereges. Click update. Are you all in the same page? Go to the categories menu. Categories menu. Then add the name of the product. <coughs> you can add the description if you want. <coughs> and upload the image for the category uh, if necessary. And then click add new product category.
All good? Ready to go? Okay. So now, if you go to the pages, you can see all the pages that are set up for you by WooCommerce. You can see the cart, you can see the checkout, you can see the My Account page, which manage, manages the, your user account. User, user account and this is the shop. Shop is a list of products that you have added to the uh, website. So, if you view that, view that, and if you view that in a browser, you should be able to see your product that you have uh, entered just now. Could you open? Are you all here? So now, how, how do you, how, you, you need a menu to click, shop, to browse your products, right? How do you, how do you create the menu? You have learned that uh, Veena had taught you in, in the previous session. <laughs> Any idea? Go to appearance, menus, check the page shop, click add to menu, click save menu, the menu, the menu item should appear here now when you refresh. Did you all add? So this is your product list, listing page. All good? Yeah. Can we go to the next step? Okay. So next, we'll see how, how the shopping cart works. So I'm going to add this product to the cart. So now, if I check my cart, you can see a small cart symbol here also. So you can see my uh, the products inside my cart. If I go to view carts, you should be able to see your item there. Next is the checkout. So I'm going to purchase this uh, product. So I click the checkout button. I'm going to enter the billing details. Email 
I'm going to use the Gmail address. My phone number. So I've entered my billing information and I'm going to place my order. Since I've, uh, I have set up the pay payment gateway as cash on delivery, it directly go to the order order confirmation page so this is the order the order is already placed this is the order confirmation page so uh, you should have also uh, received an email to the uh, to the email that you had uh, you had registered in while setting up the, uh, by setting up the billing address order confirmation this is the email that I have received from the card my product using the same account. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'm not sure which is mine. <laughs> Anyway, now you know that you will receive an email. Okay. Okay. So this is how the checkout works. So. Ready? Next, we move on to the WooCommerce settings. We're going to observe the WooCommerce settings. In this, I'll be also showing you how to set up a PayPal uh, account. Install PayPal. Okay. So, 
uh, after uh, installing the WooCommerce, you will be seeing this oops, uh, WooCommerce menu. So when you click on that, you can see the settings, navigate to that page, then you should see different uh, tabs, general, products, tax, shipping, etc. So general is generally uh, about your shop, like uh, what location, uh, whether it's taxable, all such things. Uh, you can uh, explore it later. Products is about your products, your the weight, dimension, etc. Tax is the tax for setting up the tax. Shipping. You can set up your. Uh, you can you can explore the shipping option and you can set up the shipping uh, shipping for the, uh, uh, the your shop. Then checkout checkout is the uh, checkout is where the payment gateway is uh, is uh, defined. So in this case, we have used cash on delivery. So there are other options also. You can also uh, browse for uh, if like. Uh, in this, it is limited. You can see direct ba uh, bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery, PayPal. So, for example, if you want to use authorized.net, there will be plugins available for that. You have to just go and install it, and it will be available for you to activate it. So, in this case, I'm going to show you PayPal since that's a very common one. So, in PayPal, when you sign up with PayPal, uh, you should be uh, you should be able to uh, uh, get an API. API uh, signature from the PayPal account, the key. So you enter your pay, uh, API username, password, and signature here. And also you can set up whether, uh, the, uh, first if you want to test your account, you can enable uh, the sand, uh, sandbox, PayPal sandbox account and enter the credential here for the uh, sandbox. So, so uh, if PayPal is enabled on your shopping cart, uh, once you add the product, it will show the uh, various uh, payment methods that you have activated, like cash on delivery, PayPal, or authorized or whatever it is. So uh, when people click on the PayPal, it will redirect to PayPal, and uh, uh, the transaction will happen within the PayPal, and they will uh, uh, will give a back a response to our website. So that's how it works. So this is all about setting up the uh, checkout. Then account, uh, it's nothing much, just yeah, account information. Then email, this is where you can manage the uh, email templates of your card. You can explore it. Yeah. Uh, that's all with the WooCommerce settings. Next. Next is the short codes. These are the general short codes that can be used in WooCommerce. The WooCommerce card, WooCommerce checkout, order tracking, everything is already installed in your uh, website when you install the WooCommerce. So this is just for your information. Okay. I think that's all. <laughs> Any questions? It's very simple. You have to just activate the plugin, and the plugin will do all the uh, in uh, setup for you. Yeah, you can activate uh, any WooCommerce theme. Okay. Uh, or you, also, if you want a custom theme, you can uh, uh, like employ a developer to do a custom theme. The various various option. WooCommerce is actually very flexible compared to any other shopping carts because half more than half the work is done by the plugin plugins. There are free plugins as well as uh, 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 premium plugins which you can purchase, and the plugin does the job for you. So here you can see. Any questions? Yeah. Have you all set up your e commerce website? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, thank you, thank you for coming, thank you for supporting us. Okay, so we actually want to close this workshop, but uh, we get a lot of cases and troubles during the workshop, including uh, maybe some of you have no idea why did we force you to use Vagrant and uh, to some few uh, Windows laptop. What we did is actually we're installing uh, this piece of software called XAMPP. Right. Uh, it's available for Windows, Linux, and OS X. Uh, okay. This is what uh, I personally recommend if you have Windows, so you should use this XAMPP. While if you use Mac, right, um, I recommend this one. Mm -hmm. If you use uh, Mac, right, I highly recommend this one. It's called MAM and MAM Pro. <coughs> the reason why is that uh, they are lighter in terms of uh, your for your development, and I will show you in uh, just in a bit. Okay. So when you have MAM, right? you will have on on your mac or xampp something like something like this kind of control whereby you can start or stop your server and then just now uh, all your fagrant is using this kind of terminal right so fagrant is using terminal mam is they have this kind of software um and then <coughs> when you use mam right you are an and when I say MAM, I always refer it to the XAMPP in the Windows. You will have to um, be able to understand that they actually create this thing called HT Docs, where you can create so many WordPress. For example, I have this WordPress, that WordPress, so many folder. In your background, just now you have to type WordPress.local.com, which is already uh, set for this workshop right the reason why we want you to learn with Fagrant is because most of the modern ho hosting nowadays they are using a Linux environment where you have to uh, go through all this the same terminal yeah but let's say if you are developing so many websites on your local you can use this one whereby if I stop the server, my website will be uh, stopped. But let's say if I have this kind of folder called uh, Jupyter, for example, I can go to my local host, uh, 8888, and then Jupyter, uh, like that. And then basically, I have uh, another set of uh, WordPress set up in that folder okay so that is uh, like one one another way that you can uh, sort of like try at home yeah so all these are the, the real source code of WordPress something like this. so this one is like Jupyter you know very nice Something like that has a, a bit of animation, um, yeah, something like that, right? So that is for XAPP and um, MAM. And another way is that some of you may be asked just now um, regarding why we use the page builder, right? We have a convenient drag and drop and stuff like that. Um, probably uh, the reason, the number one reason is because the theme that you download, the North theme and the page builder are free. 
Okay, I mean the word free always uh, captivating, <laughs> magically, things like that, right? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, but actually we can also tell you that there are more advanced way which is like considered a paid. Uh, and for that, I mean, I don't know whether I should refill this because, you know, people charge thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> for you to get the website, but um, we we are transparent. Right? We're pretty transparent. So I'm just gonna give you an example of the uh, premium kind of website that we created for our friends Michael uh, <laughs> when he was on his, his birthday. <laughs> so this one is like um, another similar, but it has a more advanced like a, like a map here, and then some photos. And this kind of uh, funky timeline features, and then um, pictures, and then sponsors, and then this kind of things. <coughs> uh, and then there is also a loaded tweets, but uh, Twitter, but I turned off already. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty much like that. <clears throat> so this one, if I want to show you the back end, we are also using a page builder, but the, the plugin name is different. It's called Visual Composer. You see, similar things, right? But they are different, yeah. And they are like more advanced way. But this one is like a so-called like paid themes that you can buy for marketplace. So that leads to the, the next question, it's like, okay, so are you guys trying to sell me something? Of course not. <laughs> you can buy your own premium teams, like sites uh, called Team Forest. This one. So this website, Team Forest, really, it's like the number one, maybe, to go for uh, most of the WordPress developer because you get to see I mean, maybe ten thousands or more of a premium WordPress, as you can hear, as you can see, right? Everybody is selling their own, yeah, like this. So you can have a look around, like for example, this one. <coughs> they will, they will show you what is the what kind of a website that you can create if you buy their theme, things like that. Yeah slider and stuff like that this kind of portfolio yeah the, the only thing that uh, we are trying to teach here is that when you are buying a uh, theme different team has different ways of doing stuff so the same way you you just learn about how to use the north team is the similar way you get to learn how to use the premium teams like this yeah uh, yep, like here they try to tell you what are the features that they have. For example, this one, how come this one don't have so many? Uh, usually they will tell you here, oh, I have the visual composer for WordPress. That means they already include it in the, in the theme. And this theme costs, how much? 59 US dollar. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, wait. wait. Uh, this one. Ah. Okay. So you want to know what are the nice WooCommerce? You can go to this website WooCommerce.com/showcase. You can find some example website how they do it. Shop. Uh, something like that. So when you click shop right, they actually lead you to a product category called brownies and then you get to see like our uh, category for brownies. Uh, this one I think is already customized. Yeah. And then you can enter personal message, yeah. <coughs> oh, this 
is for the nuts, which is very good. really useful. Uh, the last thing we need to do is to tell you how to shut down the vagrant because we don't want you to leave this place with your vagrant on. That means you are carrying two laptops, right? Uh, okay, if you go to the um, the GitHub page just, just now, uh, where is that? Okay, if you go to this one, uh, on the top part, there is another section called Other Useful Commands for Fagrant. <coughs> These are some of the command line that you can execute. For example, currently I can uh, see the status of my Fagrant using this one. Fagrant Global Status. <coughs> Okay, so in this case, I actually have uh, one Fagron WordPress, which is running here, and three other are power off. So if you run this one, and you forgot to power off, you might experience some slowdown in your computer because it takes quite a number of memory. What you, okay, if let's say you are curious and want to play around with the Fagron SSH, you can go Fagron. SSH. Basically, you are creating a connection, secure connection. As you can see, the, the prompt changes to Fagrant at precise 64, right? And then you can execute any Linux based command here. <coughs> uh, we don't want to. All the source code of the WordPress is inside this. Uh, Okay, so if you want to exit, just exit. <coughs> okay, and then before we go off, what you need to do is you need to power off the Fagrant. So, for example, just now uh, my Fagrant ID is the one running is this one, right? So I copy it and then fag type Fagrant. Help the ID. <laughs> Fagrant help will shut down your machine so that we can no longer access this. So right, when I try to access this one. It's basically not able to find where is this WordPress local.com because I already set down the server. It can it cannot uh, be loaded anymore. Yeah. And then if you want to de destroy, basically remove the entire thing, you can also do that by fragrant destroy the ID. Okay. This destroy does not mean that you delete the virtual box. You have to delete it by this command. Well, Fagrant WordPress is your uh, box name. Yes. Yeah, when you destroy everything, uh, it will be completely gone. <coughs> okay. Any other question? We're going, we're going to close. Can I ask? Oh, sure. yeah.